Hello and welcome to Easy Drupal. Today we're going to be connecting up our database and our web server container uh, to make Drupal run correctly. So first of all, we start off in Docker. You'll see that the containers we created are currently switched off. To switch them on, a little pro tip, you must switch them on database first. Just had to move my face so that I can see the button. So yes, start up the SQL first uh, because the others connect to that and they won't start unless that's running. Okay, so now we'll switch over to the browser and I'll show you how to connect a database to Drupal. So we start off in PHP My Admin, which is on port 8081 in our example. Uh, the username is root and the password is Drupal. And that will show us our PHP My Admin. So this is connected to our database container. At the moment, we've got no databases set up other than the standard ones. So all we need to do is create a database and we will call it Easy Drupal Create. That's it, that's all we have to do. Then we switch over to the Drupal screen here, or the Drupal install screen, which is on port 8090. And we can go through the setup process. Uh, I will select the standard installation profile. You can select a demo one if you wish. So here we need the database name, which we just set up, which is Easy Drupal. The database username is root and the database password is Drupal. Now, this is the bit, the tricky bit. We need to connect to, connect to our host. Now it isn't local host, which would be the standard. It is actually uh, what we have in here, which will be MySQL demo. That's the name of the server. We keep the standard port number. We save that and continue. With a bit of luck, that should be able to connect. It did. It's quite likely we'll get some permissions issues when we get to the next stage uh, because we haven't done the permissions inside of the container for things like the files folder. Okay, so here we can give our site a name. So we need to set a username. I'll use admin and I'll use a nice easy password we can also set the default country and the default time zone, which has already gone in there and save that and continue. Now, I think, as I say, we are going to get an error. No, we didn't. Okay, that's good. Um, so that's it. We've successfully installed Drupal on our local host using Docker. If you follow the procedure, it's pretty easy. I was expecting to see an error actually, because I thought that it wouldn't be able to write to the files directory, but obviously it was able to. Um, so yeah, all good, that's what we do. I'm gonna use this as my demo site from now on, and uh, we'll install some modules on the next uh, video. Thanks very much for watching, see you soon.